I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back to well, Game Grumps. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Bishy bash oh, special. Shit, sorry. <laughs> That's no, okay. we already did that episode, so it's fine. Right. Wait, yeah, what so, the fuck am I doing? Oh, oh no, god. Rolling up the oh, city. Just, you're rolling- what, what the fuck do you think you, you're doing? I'm just rolling you're shit running up. running for city council. Well, <laughs> well sometimes it's like, please stop. Oh, okay, 50 meters. Oh, okay, got it. That's what I'm getting to, and then I have to stop. Cool. So no big deal. Anyway, Are we supposed to look at what 50 meters is? Yeah, it's right there. Where? In the top left. Oh, that's what it- that's actually the size mm -hmm. that it looks like? Oh, well alright then. Um, well, so we were talking about the the film Indecent Proposal. Yeah, because I I told Aaron I'd I'd pay a million dollars for a single night with his dad, just to make it super weird right before we started recording. Yeah, and then you were like, "What is Indecent Proposal?" And well, I've seen I've heard the plot. Uh -huh. It's basically that. It's like a, a guy wants to sp spend like a million dollars to sleep with his uh, some guy's wife or something. It, yeah, it's Woody Harrelson and uh, Demi Moore, I believe, and they're a couple. They're a married couple. And they're in like horrible financial straits. Um, I think I think there's some big consequence to them not having money, like not like a mob boss is going to kick their ass, but like something on that level. And then Robert Redford is a millionaire or a multi-millionaire who sees them and says to Woody Harrelson, "I'll give you a million dollars for one night with your wife." And then, uh... so what is the movie about? Like that—that's literally like a short, right? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, do you want me to give away what happens? Is that giving away the movie? I, gu I guess? I don't know, cover your ear muffin uh, uh, for uh, me. Be careful, as, yeah. as is popular on YouTube, indecent proposal spoilers <laughs> galore. Yeah, okay, co you cover yours for the next 30, or... 30 seconds. Basically... That's good, right? That's I, yeah, that looks pretty good. They, th nice plesiosaur. Oh, thanks. Let's see. I d is it just so? I did, you know, I was like, I got a plesiosaur, and then it said petroleum tank, and I was like, in my head, I was like, Dan, that's not. Yeah. Those are two. Just because it ends, it starts. Dinosaurs with are not a gas. <laughs> <laughs> Hear yeah. that click? That's the sound of just size. All right. So what the? F so what is this movie about? Uh, hold on. First, we got to see if this is forty. Oh, frick! Gaga! Frick! Bananas! Ah, dang dink! All right, try All right, again. I, I can do it. I can do it. So I was big enough to get the plesiosaur. Twenty-four. Beow. I can get like a hundred million. All right, um, so tell me the plot to *Indecent Proposal*, the film that exists that many people have probably already seen. Okay, well, I, I just told you the basic plot. Okay, the basic plot. So it, what happens in it? They take it. Like they take. They he, Robert Redford bangs to me more. And then Woody Harrelson gets all mad, and he's like, YOU WERE ATTRACTED TO HIM! And that's all I remember. Oh. <laughs> wow. It was- it was a pretty adult movie, and I was a little kid, and it was also kind of uninteresting and dumb. <laughs> <laughs> was it uninteresting and dumb? If, to me at the time, to, but I mean, I was fucking 12. Anything that didn't have a dinosaur in it, I was like, OUT! So what movie- so when was that made? Like the 80s? The- or, I think early, early 90s. Okay. I gotta see it then. Go for it. That's like a classic, right? I- maybe? People still talk about it just because the plot was so crazy. You are attracted to him! It, I, it was- because it had like one of those- I remember the marketing campaign more than the movie. It was like the, what would you do? You know, like, and that's what got people talking. Oh, I see. Would you do it or would you not? And it's probably tons of ended relationships as a result. Maybe. I wouldn't even get married. <laughs> so... <laughs> there you go. That's my answer. Yeah. Fuck whoever. <laughs> yeah. Can't, can't have indecent proposals when you lead an indecent life. <gasps> oh, fuck yeah. So, he, she was, was she actually attracted to him? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> This is just like... <laughs> Hi, welcome to Game Grumps, where we talk about one movie from the <laughs> early 90s. And then sing Japanese pop music. That nobody really remembers. Right. While I roll up an entire city into a big ball. I can't remember very clearly. It was like 25 years ago. Fuck. Alright, I guess yeah. I just gotta watch it then. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we need to- maybe I need to order it on Amazon and just... Like we did with Jaws. Yeah, that's what we need to do. You just, you'll just be like, screw Lord of the Rings. I We're need to see- skipping straight to indecent, indecent proposal. proposal. Yeah, wow. 
eclectic mix of Blu-rays you've got there, Aaron. Yeah, well, at least it's not fucking, like, 20 hours, like Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's 12 hours. A scant 12 hours, my friend. <laughs> and it flies by. It flies by in a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> or weeks, depending. Well, whatever. Na, 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 na. Um, if we can do Game of Thrones, I mean, come on. Yeah, we can do it's anything. An hour a week. Easy. What is game- what is- not game. What is, uh... Lord of the Lord Rings? Lord of the Rings. Is that, like, fucking four hours a week? Yeah, I think so. Well, because the director's cut of each movie is four hours long. God. But if you split it into two movies each, then it's just two hours. Do you recommend that I watch the director's cut? I don't know. I mean... I think this is good. Right? I- I love them both. Like, you, you'll get everything you need to from, like, the normal cuts of the movies, but... Like, the direct- I just love being in that world, you know? So, like, an extra hour for each movie is, like, sweet. Right, but as somebody who hasn't seen it. Yeah, I, I don't- I don't think you'll, uh, be missing out on anything. If you watch the- the edited versions. Well... Since I haven't seen anything, why not? It's like, I'm already willing to put fucking as many hours as it takes, and I know it's a long movie. So why not watch the- God damn it! I was so close! That's not- that's not good enough? No, it was 46. You, what do you have to get? 50. Like, r on the dot? Well, I mean, give or take, like, one meter. Holy crap. I mean, I'll get a better score now. 50, la, 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 56 la, 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 la. is bullshit. Alright. Tacky Katamari. I'm not even fucking interested in wasting my time <laughs> with your fucking bullshit. STUPID FUCKING KING OF THE COSMOS WITH YOUR GODDAMN ROLLING PIN BULLSHIT He doesn't even have the back of a head, he's- where's his brain? His whole brain is the rolling pin, that means he's really smart. <laughs> oh, shit. he's a rolling pin? I don't fucking know, what oh. is he? I, f shit, dude. A party popper? <laughs> a Chinese finger trap? The middle of a tube of toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> My d- <laughs> my, my evenly spaced shaft. My evenly spaced face dick with no boober. With no boober. <laughs> uh, roll up animals to make a planet. You that sounds it. great. Let's roll up some fucking animals, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> Mountains and meadows. Oh, how I wish I were off the footage about an evenly spaced Oh man. Wish we, here. wish Chris was here so he could come in and do his robot voice. <laughs> I'm out the robot for the hook for me. I can't do it. He's incredible. I've never seen anything like hey, it. this is my story. No, I can't and do it. He's like, it's easy, you just gotta do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Chris. Cool. <laughs> Again, adding on to the- now connecting to Paris, Luxembourg, Macau. I would love that. Alright. I smell hay. Hi. Hi! And feed, and um, other things. There's only one place we can be. Mother Nature's Memorial Zoo Aquarium. Okay. Makes, Makes no sense. Start rolling shit up. But I was, but I was still, still explaining, explaining things. things. Great. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna shut up now. I love it. Oh, never mind. You clearly don't y care. Y you just want animals. Yeah. Cool. That, I, I would assume that's the thing. I mean, I'll get big enough to just roll up anything anyway, so... Yeah, might as well. So fuck it. <laughs> what was that? Some kind of fucking... Oh, like iguanas. Frilled lizard, as they call them. Yeah. Frilly lizard. My... <laughs> Person... what? My my sister used to do this thing, like, where she'd be like, Freely lizard! And then, like, put her hands up to the side of her head and run around the house like a frilly lizard. How old was she? 30s? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we, t we were teenagers. Okay. And then she would, uh... Freely lizard! She would also do this thing, like, where, like, the fr She just shortened it to frilly. Oh, okay. And then she'd be, like... She'd, like, do frilly encounters with other animals, like... Freely cricket! Freely cricket! Freely! <laughs> what?! As in, the like, the frilly lizard ate the cricket. Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry, I didn't explain that very well. Oh, man, it's cool. I get it. You kinda need the visuals. But that's my sister. I love that girl. Dang. Yeah, she's a nice- she's a nice, uh, nice lady. I had a, um... Oh, yeah, you met her. Yeah, I had a- I had a great interaction with her where she and I both had the same uh, description of our live show. What's that? And I was like, oh, that's, yeah. It, we, like, we had, we had one of those moments where it was like, you know, the live show's a little bit like, like, like this, like this, like this, yeah, like that! Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Any um, idea what you said? Yeah, it was, it's Bullshit. like, it's, <laughs> it's like the video game version of Medieval Times. Whoa! Yeah. 
What a fucking rad thing to say. Yeah. I love the medieval version of medieval times. Right. And I like the video game version of medieval times. And, oh and it's- you know what's cool too is I actually had, um... So Susie was at Anime Expo, mm -hmm. you know, and uh... So she was like a little bit detached from... Like, sort of the Grumps brand, I guess. Sure. She was selling her own merch and everything, and... So she- she met a lot of lovelies, but... You know, there's a little bit more of like an open... Conversation to speak candidly about stuff like that. Right. Um... So basically she was like... Some people were like, I went to the like, Game Grumps live show. And she was like, oh cool, what did you think? And they were like, oh it was great! And she was like... But really, what did you think? You <laughs> yeah. know, like she was trying to get... Some real information out of them. Right. Um, and they, they, all of them were like, I loved it. I had an amazing time. Whoa! I would absolutely go again. Yay! So, yeah. The, the only interaction I ever had where somebody... Didn't have like an amazing time is they just had when like you really were talking to me afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, it, it wasn't even that it was just that they had like really good feedback on like how to make it better. Oh shit So I was like, oh interesting. What a nice what a nice thing to hear. Yeah Exactly. Yeah, so people are really digging the live shows. This isn't like a promotion Although that's sort of what it ends up being <laughs> But I'm just saying like I just thought that was really interesting. How dare you promote game grumps on game grumps? <laughs> That's a dick well, move. Well, I went, uh... Oh, those little tigers. The thing... <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that laughs> He was one, coming for yeah, it, Yeah, that one stuck his face in, this where it didn't destiny. belong. <laughs> this is my destiny. Um... But, yeah, I mean, it's like, when, when you do a show, you come off and you're all energized and stuff, but you're like, how was that really? Like, you can't, you can't really look at Oh, we have no idea. From the lens of, yeah. like, somebody who's watching. So there you go. You just rolled up a really long thing. <laughs> My dick! Well, yeah, what you trying to say, Wilbach? Oh, it's beyond. <laughs> yeah, beyond amazing. What does beyond say? My uh, <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> I, I've never thought of that. It's really stupid. I, so there was there was an old Game Grumps joke that was, uh... <laughs> like, Beyonce. Uh -huh. It's like a seance, but with a Beyonce <laughs> to summon Beyonce. <laughs> You like get around a table and you're like, hey, 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 and then it's like, if you like it, then you <laughs> say, oh, oh, she's here, she's here. Oh my god! It like slowly comes into. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you like so, that like, story? like no, just I'm just imagining like the person like <laughs> running the seance is like. <laughs> I'm ex I'm experiencing something from this spirit. Whoa! <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my goodness, she's here! <laughs> Yay! She's she's enveloping our friend. Oh shit! Next time on Game Rums. My God. Okay. Oh, I uh, sorry, sorry. I uh, bye. That one caught me off guard.